Bola Tinubu may become Osiba Ando's chief supporter in presidential race. Kayode Ajulo, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Kayode Ajulo, the convener of the Progressive Lawyers for Osiba Ando, has spoken concerning the possibility of Asiwa Jibola Tinubu becoming Professor Yemi Osiba Ando's chief promoter. Ajelo stated this possibility on channel television while addressing the Vice President's recent declaration. You may recall that Vice President Yemi Sibanjo recently declared his aspiration to become Nigeria's next president. However, the development has raised concern regarding how Sibanjo's declaration could, Im could impact his relationship with his former boss, Bola Tenubu. Before the Vice President's public declaration, Tenubu expressed interest in the position. Addressing the development, Ajulo said, I know Balatinabu's factors were clear, but this is about the lives and welfare of Nigerians. People had urged the vice president to contest because they had seen something in him and he accepted the challenge as a responsive leader. Ajulo added, This is politics and I have occupied an administrative position. Ajulo added, this is politics and I have occupied an administrative position in a political party. We only know little of what goes on in politics. Perhaps both aspirants may join and eventually and Bola Senebu may become Osibanjo's chief promoter for Osibanjo's presidential aspiration. Uncle, I don't think this what you're saying is going to be possible. <laughs> I don't think. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. To think that Bola Tenumbu, who is going around, not the, going almost around the globe, telling everybody my lifelong ambition is to become the president of Nigeria, assist me, what should I do, how do I go about it? You are saying it will help us, Ibanja. Come on, come on. Had it been the other way around, it's okay, it's, it's a possibility. For me, I don't think it is going to happen. For me, for me, I, I know it's my opinion, but I don't think it is going to happen. I seriously doubt if Kayode Ajolo is in any way normal. If he is, then he should know that Osibanjo is and can never be on the same political pedestal with Tunumbu. Now that Osibanjo has allowed his political naivety to mislead him into yielding to wrong and dangerous persuasion of the forces who are bent on using him to slide Tunumbu's political reputation, he should know he should now be ready to play politics in the way that he couldn't have imagined. Usibanjo has sold political wind and he should be prepared to reap or harvest whirlwind. Well, for those of you who are still thinking that Usibanjo betrayed him by coming out to declare, well, in my own opinion, I don't see any betrayal. Not that two of them are not, uh, are not my, I, I, like, I'm not rooting for any of them, but I'm just saying he's coming out to declare sincerely in my own opinion is not a threat uh, oh, sh sh should it be a threat come on if terrible is can be his hand to his chest and say yes you know it's not a threat then he should not say uh, supporters should be coming down you understand his supporters are really making a mountain out of a mountain okay that's your own opinion do you think he has been playing all the seven years at Asu Rock? I think rather that Tunumbu has miscalculated your thought that he made the Sibanje VP to guard his ambitious desire all these years. My friend, the will of the people is powerful. Let us see how it plays out. Now, this is what I'm talking about. That is why I am almost screaming out my lungs and I'm saying, please, people of Nigeria, this is not a time to be selfish. We have been selfish in the past. We have got out. It has got out to a river of blood, of insecurity, of economical death. Of um, tell me point one thing that is actually going well in Nigeria. Even the ones they claim that you have actually done has either been ruined or has been destroyed by you know our, our, our common enemy have been destroyed by bandits or what have you. So I think it's high time you know we come together and tell us of the truth. Competency should stand out. Competency against popularity. Competency against. Um, you know, age, competency against experience, you know. Well, every time we used to hear, oh, what an elder we sit down to see, you stand up as a child and you will not be able to see. So at this point, look, that adage is, is so, uh, I think it's a myth because in my own opinion, 
have allowed the elders to rule us for a very long time and we cannot be proud to say we, we like where we are or we, have, or we have arrived. We are not even anywhere close to where we want to be. The problem with Tenable supporters is that they consider any contrary opinion from the Southwest as a betrayal. They forget, thank you, they forget that this is Nigeria and not Lagos. Unless Tenable comes clean with his age, state of origin and how he made his money, he will soon be biting his fingers. Well, look, it's not even coming clean. If he comes clean today, does that make him competent? Come on. Does that make him competent? The thing is, Uncle, what you are playing in Lagos, the projects you think you are in charge of in Lagos, is actually the thing ruining most of what you're supposed to do at national level. And me, I blame I blame my constitution, I blame INEC, I blame everybody. Had it been INEC and our constitution has criteria where to be a president, to be a governor, a senator, a, a, a local government chairman, a councillor, you would have to, the things that yet stick that they used to measure, you know, if you if you want a, a public servant, they used to measure it, okay, in your office, how did you leave that office? Do you leave that office in a better state? You know, did you perform above average? You know, all those things, they're supposed to be criterias. And this criteria, you know, it is like you, you being somebody who is, who was serving the public before, you were not public servant before, and, you know, you're now asking for another public, it should be easier for you. But if it's not, then bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. It is our borrows and belly policies that are playing. How on earth in Nigeria think they, that it's only one man in the entire South that is entitled to declare his ambition to contest as presidential aspirants? My dear, I tire. Oh, I tire. I tire. That is why me, I'm not seeing this thing as simple and job betrayal. No, it's not betrayal. The man did not in any way betray his benefactor. This thing, they are in business. Tinumbu, once upon a time, wanted, you know, assisted him. I don't want to believe that there has been no time he has pressed button. Come on now. He has pressed button for this man. Should we switch over to Lagos State? Do you know that up till now, um, the so-called godfather of Lagos State have not given nod to Sanwolu, of course, because he's engrossed in his political ambition. He has not given a nod and Samuelu is the one I've been racking in money to fund this 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 your 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 Paris person campaign. So this is most what we want. We want something better. Someone who will look at Nigerians and feel what we feel. Someone who do not need to really come out and how am I going to put it now? Someone whose ambition will not be it's my lifelong ambition, but it will be like I want to build Nigeria. Let's make Nigeria better. Something like that has a ring to it, rather than it's my life of ambition. I mean, Nigeria is not supposed to be a compensation piece of cake to anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.